My role in PERC 20 is I am the general chair. It's a great honor to have been selected by my colleagues to lead the meeting. And uh, my role is to work with everyone that's on the great team to put together a, a really impactful meeting. And also to work with our local sponsors and our, our local folks in Portland to make sure that we showcase our host city as well. There's a couple of challenges. One is just the incredible rapid pace of technology. Oftentimes it's our scientists, colleagues that are pushing the envelope with new ways to collect data and analyze data, and also the technology community that is creating new software, new ways to do high performance computing. So staying on top of that I think is a huge challenge because it's always a moving target and understanding the complexity of linking you know, world-class science to world-class infrastructure for many institutions and for the community at large. Biggest challenge for us as a community is just being able to maintain our community and to grow it. We are in a very interesting kind of niche where folks that do cyber infrastructure provide really world-class support to our researchers. As of yet, there isn't a defined career path for a cyber infrastructure professional and also for research software engineers. So it's often a challenge and it's a puzzle because this group of individuals and their role within the research enterprise is just so critical. And so at, sometimes it's a little frustrating getting the message across how important these folks are and also that this is a real research growth area because you know, world-class science cannot happen without this kind of infrastructure so it's very much a it's very much a partnership keeping our community vibrant and growing it for the future will remain a challenge for us but it's a good challenge <laughs> I've been a member of the PERT community now for a number of years, uh, is just the community spirit within the group. Everyone who has a role in this, whether it's a leadership role or whether they provide service at some level of computing or networking, it's a very close-knit community and it's one of the most collaborative communities that I've ever really worked in. Quite different from working within a domain science where typically scientists are competing with each other to be the first one to publish a paper. There is some competition within our community, but we know that we have to work together in order to create the infrastructure to make science possible. There's been a number of leaders in the community who have provided really wonderful guidance for the community and now what we're hoping to see is the next generation, the next group of individuals to start taking over those roles. One of the things we always look forward to with the conference is just to get together with all of our colleagues and really celebrate ourselves as a community. That's always a really rewarding part of the meeting. I am very much looking forward to you know, an excellent technical program. Um, again, um, continuing our excellent student programs. We are adding a couple of new twists to the meeting this year. One is we're really starting to emphasize more data visualization and visualization as a science. We plan to have put more effort into the visualization showcase and really showcase that for, for the whole group. And I'm also very interested in the impact that our tutorials and workshops will have. And also also our accepted papers. We have seen a little bit of a difference from previous conferences. We're starting to attract now, in addition to cyber infrastructure and research computing professionals, we're starting to attract researchers who work in artificial intelligence and machine learning and also visualization. So that's starting to change the conference a little bit for the better. And I think that the excellence of the technical program and the student program and just celebrating ourselves as a community.